Why, hello there. Welcome to the magical, mystical, magic, rainy, flashy arm movement uh, blog. I wonder if I could make that into a song. It's the magical, mystical, magic, rainy, flashy arm movement blog. My name is Jordan, and I will be your host for this awesome magical vlog of my life. I kind of tried before, and I kind of failed, because I don't know how to vlog or really talk to an inanimate object, because honestly, you're not there. Also, I kind of use my hands a lot, so if you notice these weird, twisty, floppy, whatever you would call them, I guess replacements for arms, because these aren't really arms, these are just noodles. Anyways, today's theme is mathematics. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Boring, right? WRONG! <laughs> Have you ever wondered where mathematicians make up the names for all their equations and doohickeys and stuff like that? I mean, seriously. So I'm taking this, like, trig class to get ready for calculus that I'm taking next year. Oh, I know, he's so smart, he's such a nerd. <laughs> wow, I make really weird faces, don't I? So, we're taking this trig class thing with lots of pages, and it's pretty much we're reading a storybook where they make up magical trig stuff. Let's just look up some of these interesting terms, shall we? It starts with a character named Marcus Recordis. Yeah, he's pretty much the mathematician of the whole bunch who writes down all this crap. They have this one passage in here where they're describing uh, sine, cosine, and tangent. We also have Gernard. I don't know how to say that. G-E-R-A-R-D. Gernard? Gernard? I've never heard the name Gernard before. Masonist builder. So obviously he's a mason, he's a builder, blah, blah, blah. And... Of course, we have the magical wizard of trigonometry named Trigonometris. Very original. There's one more character, too. The gremlin of Caramona. The spirit of hopelessness and impossibility. And so basically, they're going around the magical land of triangles trying to name all these angles and weird equations. And So anyways, they're going through and just showing all these random boring math trigonometry stuff that I already know. And then they get to, like, how they freaking name everything. There was a terrible argument over the names for these ratios. Everyone wanted the ratios named after themselves. We finally interrupted when Pal spilled four of his letter blocks on the main conference room floor. They spelled out the word sign. The king took decisive action to settle the argument. We will call the ratios the sign ratio, he decreed. After what, some four random falling blocks on the floor? I mean, seriously? You could have named it freaking everything. And that brings me to my next point. How the heck do they name all these random freaking equations and stuff? I mean, seriously. You can name it pretty much whatever. If you figure it out, you can name it, like, I don't know, after yourself. Like, let's say your name was, like, Stinky Feet. <laughs> Why would your name be Stinky Feet in the first place? I just thought of that. But honestly, you could name an equation after, like, everything. Like, oh, today I discovered this magical equation that turns pi squared into actual pi. What should I call it? Let's call it... The Pope Leo X Theorem. I don't know why, it just kind of sounded cool to me, you know? So, you know, when you're, like, writing equations or everything, and then, like, doing math, like, instead of, like, ridiculous random words like sine and cosine, I took the sine of 45 and I divided it by the natural log of 18 or something like that. Wouldn't it sound a lot cooler if you, like, made up your own names for all these equations? Like, Utilizing the gluteus maximus theorem, I concluded that the Napoleon Dynamite Theorem divided by the Pope Leo X Corollary equals the square root of funny bones. Or something along those lines, you know? Wouldn't a lecture by some math person be so much more entertaining if they actually used, like, weird random names like that instead of- The sine of 2x equals x squared divided by the square root of 29 minus 7. See how boring that- See? See how boring that is? See? <laughs> Yay for being weird. Anyways, I didn't really have much to go with that argument. I just thought it would be cool if numbers were named random things. Pretty much, I'm going to have an educational experience for you guys every day because I'm that super cool and nerdy like that. All right, nerd fighters, I'll see you guys later. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, do all that stuff, then do new pants bar. You can see other stuff that I like or something like that. I don't know. I'm just doing this for fun. So if you guys like fun, subscribe. Yeah. This is the end of the show. Why are you still watching?